don't know if I'm hung up. Oh, I got to Oh my god. Dude, I have a small pike on. Huge pike came up and tried to eat it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Logan and thank you all for watching. So, we are at a lake known for big pike and big perch. So that is the target species today, big pike, big perch. Um, one way, one good way to actually catch them out here is trolling. So we might do some trolling, so it might get a little bit boring, but I'll make sure to keep it keep it interesting for you guys. We're out here with my man Ant from Fishing with Friends, but uh, yeah, big pike, big perch. And we're heading to the first spot right now. I'm gonna throw a line behind and start doing some trolling. And uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys don't like, subscribe, do all those YouTube things. And I'll see you when we get to the first spot. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we're at the first spot. Just throwing a little orange grubbed. I already dropped the anchor. Oh, there's fish feeding over there, boy. There's fish feeding right over there. It looks like perch. Look like some perch feeding right over here, guys. Right behind the camera. Go cast to it, see if I can get one. Perch feeding right here, guys. As we're pulling up to the first spot, I saw some explosions here, so let's see if we can let's see if we can get on one. It's a little windy, so I might have to drop anchor. Stay on them. Where's my ultralight? Grab my ultralight real quick. They look small, like small perch. Grab the ultralight. Fish guys, fish, fish. Good fish guys, good fish, good fish, good fish. Good fish boys, might be a perch. Pike or perch on the ultralight. Don't wanna to put too much pressure on him now. Good fish, guys. I haven't seen it yet. Perch. Good perch. Good perch. Good perch, guys. Yes. Fish. Perch. Nice fish, boys. Nice perch. Check that fish out, guys. Nice perch to get started. Nice perch right there, guys. Check that perch out, guys. On the ultralight, right there. First, first spot. Nice perch. It was a good fight, too. About 30... About 35 centimeters right there, boys. 35 centimeters. So we have to let these fish go. This is a catch and release only lake, so we gotta let this guy go. So I'm gonna put him back, and uh, that'll be it. Good fish, boys. First fish on the board, fellas. On the ultralight, too. <laughs> we were chasing him. I was trying to talk to you guys. I was chasing him. Trying to get to the first spot. I saw some fish coming up and, and feeding on the surface. So I chased them down, casted my normal jig right here, but they weren't taking it. So then I threw the ultralight and he took the little, he took the little mini jig, the little ultralight mini jig right there, orange. Guys, I'm seeing some more, I'm 
super little perch over here, so let's go over here. All we were doing was hitting to that first spot. And then they just, I saw him, I saw him schooling, casted, couldn't get anything on the normal jig through the ultralight. Bang, first cast. Fish, guys. Big fish. What is that? Pike. Pike, guys. Not a giant. But we'll take it. There's my net. Alright, boys. Well, we'll take a pike. Jeez, look at this guy. Now, he didn't fight the whole time, and then he gets in the net, and then he wants to start fighting. Gotta love pike fishing. All right, guys, so, fish number two. Not a bad little pike. Took the big bait, too. All right, guys, we're gonna let this guy go. Have to catch and release here, but not a bad fish. Number two, let's keep it going. Came to catch some perch. What? Said so I came to catch some perch. Dude. This is where I caught that first one, but I couldn't get the friggin' kayak Everywhere. to hold. What's right that? Here. This is number eight. And I'm two up, we're over 40. Oh really? Yeah, I can't get I couldn't get the kayak to friggin' hold, dude. What's up? Let's see if I can get on them. As long as my as long as my freaking kayak holds. They're smoking it too. I'm just using my pedal drive to keep me in, keep in my place. Yeah, they seem like they're up in sh more shallower than usual. Yep. It's crazy. I haven't spooked lures at all. All the same lures. There's one. That one? Yep. Not a giant. Fish boys. Reel in slow so we can... Oh, shit, I had one far one. Did you? So we can get this double. Got him. Double up. Yep. Double. Small one for me. Uh. Let's go. Fishing with friends and fishing expat. Doubled up on perch. Not a giant, but I'll take it. Small fish are better than no fish. Oh yeah? Yeah. I caught that 36, the one I caught this morning on the ultralight. There's a better one. Not huge, but better than the last one. Perch boys, decent one. All right. Three perch and a pike for a total. Ah. 
fish on the dead bait. Probably feels like it. Oh no, it's a big perch, dude, on that dead bait. Big perch on the dead bait? Yeah. <laughs> oh, big freaking giant, dude. Freaking giant perch on a dead bait. Doubled up again. Guys, I threw a dead bait out, expecting to get a pike. I got a big perch. Oh yeah. Guys, check. Guys, check that perch out. It's probably this got to be over forty. Freaking tank, dude. All right, guys, let's see how. Yeah. That one? No, no, I said, what's your guess? 40. You know how they are around here. They're all, f all the big ones are 40, 40. Yeah. Uh, 42? <laughs> Look at that perch, guys. 42. All right, guys, let's let this boy, let's let this big girl go. So guys, all I did was I took that dead bleak, lip hooked it with just the little fireball. Then I have the treble hook hooked in the body like that on a slip bobber. And I just had it behind the boat. And I noticed that it went down. Go ahead and get that back out there. <laughs> Dude, 42 on a dead bait. Perfect. I'm just catching big size. Pimmel hay. behind us now, eh? Oh, there's a fish. Dead bait. Dead bait? Yeah. Pike, dink. Dead bait. Again, boys. Oh. Thought it was a small one. It is, he's just fighting like he's tough. Yeah, that, that 60 I had earlier, he fought like a demon, man. I couldn't believe it. Alright boys, another pike. On the dead bait. Matt laughed when I casted this out too, just for the record. My man Matt over there laughed when I cast when he saw me <laughs> cast this out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, boys. Yeah, sounds good. All right, boys. Pike number two. Let him go. All right, dead bait's back out, boys. And if Matt laughs and I catch one again, he's got to take a swim. <laughs> Gotta be a perch. <sighs> Fish boys, another perch. perch. Yep. <sighs> Feels like a decent one too. Oh yeah, it's a good one. <clears throat> 30 something.
Yeah. All right, boys, another perch. Another good one, too. Not as big as the last one, but still a respectable fish. Probably closer to the first one we caught today, 35, 36, somewhere in there. All right, so go ahead and let this one go. Another good fish. What's that? that? Yeah, it's a good one too, I think. Good perch, boys. Good perch. Another good one. I don't want to damage him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright boys. Nice. He bosses him for the toy. Yeah. Alright guys. Another good perch. Probably 35 or so. <sighs> Matt got one? Yeah. Good one too. The pike man, everybody's catching perch, but the pike man gets the pike. <laughs> All right, lost track. I think that's six or something. Six or seven now. Perch, two pike. And the perch seem to be back this way. Yeah, I might go check out the, the normal spot. Where's that? Oh, over here. A bit further out, that climb, Matt. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. We didn't even caught them there. Maybe if they moved over there. Yeah. That's where that 44 was the other day. Was it? That thing was a freaking hog, dude. All right, boys, I'm going to pull anchor. Change spots. Perch have died down. Let's go find some more. Oh, I got a bite, boys, on the dead bait. On the dead bait. Dead bait fish. It's a pike. I think it's a pike. Yep, decent pike. On the dead bait, boys. As soon as I was packing up to switch spots. Strong fish. Ah, got him. There we go. There we go. Third fish on the dead bait. My buddy Matt's back there laughing. Oh, there we go. Let me get this rod out of the way. Right there in the dead bait, guys. 
Not a bad pike. Not a bad pike at all. Let's try to get a quick measurement on this guy. About 77, 78. We're gonna let this beast go. All right, guys, not a bad fish. Right there on that dead bait. All right, guys, so let's do a recap. I think that's our third pike. I've lost track of perch. Maybe seven perch or so. And it's only 10 15 so off to a great start i'm gonna pull anchor i'm gonna move spots and uh we'll see maybe maybe do some more pike fishing fish guys big fish big fish guys big fish I was trolling. Good fish on a small jig with a light leader. It's gotta be a pike. On a small jig with a light leader. I hope you don't break me off. Good pike, good pike, good pike. I do not have a thick leader on here, so I gotta be very careful. You gotta be very careful, boys. It's a good fish, but not a thick leader. On the little jig, on that little jig. Boy, good fish. Not a giant, but a solid fish. On that little jig. <laughs> Look at that guy. Just on that little orange jig. A solid fish. Look at that, guys. Look at that fish. Solid fish. On my perch. I hooked him perfectly for him not to break off because that's not a super thick leader. Good fight. Eighty-five centimeters. What a fight, boys! What a fight! Ah, all right, so guys, so again, so it's catch and release only out here. That thing took my little jig, my little perch jig, while I was trolling it. I was trolling for perch on that side, and big pike on the other side. And we got that nice fish. What a fight, too! I'll tell you what, oh, boy. Oh, 
think that's what five pike today guys seven or eight perch man that was a good fish too Whew. i think it was strong my arm is tired <laughs> i'm fighting that thing man i'm gonna check my leader make sure my leader is good still man what a fight always check your leader leaders is really just not even really damaged at all man just a little bit but this is what he took so it's like a 35 inch pike and all he took was that little jig just trolling crazy Whew, it's actually a good little spot here Let's try a couple casts off the bottom see if i get a fish man i'm worn out this is a medium light rod guys that thing was strong I wasn't sure because that leader is only like 40 pound. So depending on where you hook them, if you hook them deep, they can break that 40 pound with their teeth. But I got them right in the roof of the mouth by the top lip. So he wasn't really able to get his teeth on that leader too much. Another fish already, guys. I just put this in, I got a fish already. Another good one, too. This might actually be a perch the way it's fighting. Fish boy, I just casted this in. small pike or a huge perch. A little pike. It's not a bad one. Dude, I just casted this jig in too. Oh, I hope you don't break me off though. Oh, I hope you don't break me off. I do not like how that jig is in his mouth. Not a bad fish. This is the spot right here. Whew. guys something grabbed him something freaking grabbed that fish he's got scratch fresh scratches on his back something might have grabbed his butt I want the fish that grabbed him that's for sure another pike guys not a bad one either another decent pike Hey guys, check this out. Savage Gear Pike. There's a lot of pike in here, a lot of small ones. So I'm gonna try to throw in this. It's a 30 centimeter, 12 inch, seven ounce pike lure imitation. Ridiculous from Savage Gear. This thing looks nuts. Let's give her a try. Like Missed one? Hey! Yeah, a big one again. Yeah. What 
Matt, I've got some stall right here if you want it. Just trolling along, boys. I know it's not, it's not the most uh, entertaining way to fish, but it's effective, especially out here for pike. Even perch, I've got perch trolling, so. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So we're just gonna troll along. I got a big swim bait on this side and I got a little paddle tail on this side. And uh, we're just going over weedy patches and hoping to some toothy predator, or uh, I guess a perch too, they're not toothy. They come up and ambush, so that's what we're hoping for. So just gonna paddle around and uh, hopefully we get one here soon. guys big one big fish on that pike swim bait on that pike swim bait guys <sighs> big head shakes oh I see him big head shakes keep the pressure on him oh it's a big one it's a big pike boys it's a freaking huge pike Not huge, but it's a good pike. Oh, yeah. She's not ready yet. Get in that net. Get in that net. Yes. Oh. 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 They're cannibals. <laughs> These pike are freaking cannibals, man. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Whew. Guys, good pike on that other. Only one hook. Oh, no, never mind. The back, the rear hook on it, too. Oh, yeah, hooked perfectly. Hooked perfectly. Whew. Oh. Guys, check that fish out. Good. <laughs> good pike, guys. On that. On that pike imitation lure. Oh my goodness. Really didn't fight that hard, but it's just heavy. Just a heavy fish. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this other lure out before so I get this net out of the way. Oh. Alright guys. Ah. Check that fish out right there, guys. Good sized pike. Let's get a measurement on this thing. I don't think it's gonna be a meter. But it's gonna be close. I'm gonna try and get a measurement on this fish without hurting it. I don't wanna hurt the fish. Ninety-five, ah, ninety-five centimeters, guys. I'll have to do the math to see what that is in uh, inches, but probably close to close to four. And he just got me good there. That's gonna bleed. But uh, oh yeah, did some damage to my hand, but worth it. That's been the biggest pike of the day, guys. 95, probably about 38 inches or so. So, whew, good fish. A real good fish. So, that was on that pike lure, that imitation pike. So let's keep, uh, let's keep going.
don't know if I'm hung up. Oh, I got to Oh, my God. Dude, I have a small pike on. Huge pike came up and tried to eat it. Pike got eaten by a big pike. I think I hooked him. Huge bite, guys. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. Freaking, guys, check this out. The big pike, I had a little pike on, and the big pike, oh my God, that's a fat pike. That fat pike tried to eat the little pike that I had on oh my goodness all right guys i'm gonna break my rod if i'm not careful all right so i'm gonna get unscrewed up here so i have a huge pike on right now guys and it tried to eat I hooked into a little pike and the big pike came up and grabbed the little pike. I saw it blow up. I tried to put my dead bait out and while I put my dead bait out, it actually came up and grabbed this little pike. Oh my goodness. Let's get this little pike. So here's the little pike right here. And here's the big one, big fat one. Look at that stomach. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try to get this little pike out of here and let him go. So here's the little pike. Look. Jeez. I'm all over the place right now, guys. That was incredible. Look, that pike, that little pike got grabbed by that big pike when I was bringing him in. Holy smokes. So let's get this little pike back in the water. He's had a rough go. So, two pike. Okay, so. Real quick, there's a the little one. He's all beat up and he's going back in the water. Poor little guy. Now, here is the freaking behemoth that we caught on accident. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whew. Look at that one, guys. That one's pushing. That one's pushing 40 inches and it's fat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's got the tail of another fish in its mouth right now. Jesus. Guys, check that out. It's got a, there's a fish tail in there. Let's see. meter fish boys all right guys not quite a meter a 94 but what a fish big old fat one it's hard to get a good measurement on this thing but uh, look at the belly on that ridiculous What a fish, boys. So two fish, almost 40. Another one, about 34, 35 inches. Ugh, I couldn't get a good measurement on him, but I don't think he was there at, at 40. I don't think he was quite a meter. 
close, but I don't think it was quite there, but fat. Well, that is gonna wrap up this video. That, I was trolling that little jerk bait. Uh, let me see. So I was trolling this jerk bait and that small pike, that little pike came up and grabbed it and I was fighting it. And all of a sudden behind it, I saw a huge pike came roll and rolled out of the water and tried to eat my little pike. <laughs> Man. So what I did was I threw a dead bait back there. So I put the rod in the rod holder, threw a dead bait back there, hoping that it would eat the dead bait. And while it did that, it actually grabbed the little pike that I was fighting and I hooked him. So I caught two pike at once, the little one and then that almost 40 inch meter long fish. <sighs> that was insane. That's not the first time I ever caught a pike on another fish on accident. That's like the second, that's about like the third time. Micro fishing and uh, two fit, I think it was two bait, one fish. But you guys wanna go back and watch those videos. <sighs> that was crazy. But anyways, that's gonna wrap this video up guys. If you guys like it, make sure you guys go down and like, subscribe if you have not, and uh, do all those YouTube things, turn the notification bell on so you know every time that I upload, and so you guys can make sure you watch it, don't miss it. And I appreciate you guys watching. Hey. And uh, that's all I got for you. From beautiful Bavaria, Germany, I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey.